Let's play a lightning round game. I'm gonna be the bad guy, and I want to get away with as much bad things as possible, ideally to enrich myself and advance my interest, even if that means putting, uh, putting my interests ahead of the American people. I want to run. If I want to run a campaign that is entirely funded by corporate political action committees, is there anything that legally prevents me from doing that? No. Okay. So there's nothing stopping me from being entirely funded by corporate PACs, say, from the fossil fuel industry, the healthcare industry, big pharma. I'm entirely 100% lobbyist PAC uh, funded. Okay. And let's say I have some skeletons in my closet that I need to cover up so that I can get elected. Um, Mr. Smith, is it true that you wrote this article, this opinion piece for the Washington Post entitled, these payments to women were unseemly, that doesn't mean they were illegal? Well, I can't see the piece, but I wrote a piece under that headline in the Post, so I assume that's right. So I use my special interest dark money funded campaign to pay off folks that I need to pay off and get elected. So now I'm elected and I'm in, I've got the power to draft, lobby, and shape the laws that govern the United States of America. Fabulous. Are there any limits on the laws that I can write or influence especially if I'm uh, based on the uh, special interest funds that I accepted to finance my campaign and get me elected in the first place. There's no limit. So there's none. So I can be totally funded by oil and, ga and gas. I can be totally funded by big pharma. Come in, write big pharma laws, and there's no limits to that whatsoever. That's right. Okay, so awesome. The last thing I want to do is get rich with as little work possible. That's really what I'm trying to do as the bad guy, right? So is there anything preventing me from holding stocks, say, in an oil or gas company, and then writing laws to deregulate that, that industry and cause, you know, that could potentially cause the stock value to soar and accrue a lot of money in that time? You could do that. So I could do that. I could do that now with the way our current laws are, are set up. Yes? Yes. Okay, great. Okay, is it possible that any elements of this story apply to our current government and our current public servants right now? Yes. Yes. So we have a system that is fundamentally broken. In relation to congressional oversight that we have, the limits that are placed on me as a congresswoman, compared to the executive branch and compared to, say, the president of the United States, is there more teeth in that regulation in Congress? Um, in terms of laws that apply to the president, mm -hmm. yeah, there's just almost no laws at all that apply to the president. So I'm being held, and every person in this body is being held to a higher ethical standard than the president of the United States. That's right. Thank you very much.